<clears throat> Welcome everyone to Ohaf Shalom Messianic Congregation. We're glad that you all could attend, those who are here in person and those who are here online. Uh, we have attracted an audience, uh, actually a worldwide audience. I mean, we have 40, sometimes 42 different countries that are here with us online. Why? Well, because there is a growing curiosity about the phenomenon of Jewish revival. Jewish revival has been promised for a very long time in the scriptures, but where's it been? And so people have given up on it. And lo, certainly something has happened with the physical revival of Israel, and, but there has been, uh, you know, so often there's the physical and then there's the spiritual. And usually the physical, the material, predates the spiritual. So just like uh, there has been an, an ingathering on a physical and material level, there has been, there has been underway uh, subsequently a, uh, a spiritual revival. Now this is, uh, you say, well, what could be the great importance of this? Well, I mean, it's such a microcosmic people. There's arguably 16 million people who are Jew of Jewish descent uh, around uh, out of uh, a billion, which is a minuscule number. Well, the importance of it is, is that there is, there's a leadership quotient. Now, whether people want to admit it or not, uh, the Jewish people have been designated for a leadership role, yep. a leadership role. It's not an ego thing, and we didn't ask for it, but it's just been there. And the scriptures were written by Jewish people. It says that, that the Jewish people are the oracles of God. And, uh, oh, well, why can't I be an oracle of God? Well, you know, to be Jewish is, to, the scriptures say that you suffer double for your inequities. That's not an attractive feature. <laughs> it's hard enough to, to be troubled individually, but double? Uh, and, uh, and the Jewish people have, but have survived. How do we know that the Bible is true? Because the Jewish people still exist beyond all odds beyond all odds. So it was that the Jewish people have not only survived, but now are prospering. And uh, would you believe that this small sliver of land that is uh, at one point is only nine miles wide and it's 200 miles long, but uh, only the northern part has any population in it to speak of. So, uh, so Israel has uh, survived despite all odds, despite all wars, and, uh, and is now prospering, prospering. Uh, it's said that Israel is the third most effective military in the world. I actually think it's the second. I think it's second only to the United States. I, I think it outclasses Israel, it outclasses Russia. Russia seems to be struggling along militarily. Can't even best the pipsqueak nation of the Ukraine. So how, how effective are they? Russia has this huge landmass. I mean, it looks enormous. And so you'd think that they would be big in every way, but they're not, but they're not. Their economy's not big. And their military, they spend a lot of, a lot of their fortune on, on, on the military. And yet here's this little country, this little country. It's only nine miles wide at its narrowest part. And, and it can stand against anybody. It is standing against anybody. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just amazing? Well, where would, the, where would Israel be without the United States? Listen, Israel will do just fine with or without the United States. Israel can buy its armaments from a lot of countries. 
a lot of countries would be very glad to sell armaments to Israel. The money, the money, the money. You can always count on the money. The money will move things. And so Israel is, is just uh, is an amazing, is an amazing thing. And why people don't bet on Israel, I just don't know how. Why, why aren't people betting on the, the good fortunes of Israel? The Bible predicts good fortunes. I will do you good, God says. I will do you good. And God has been doing good for, for Israel, for the Jewish people, increasingly so. I mean, if there's a sure bet, it's to, it's to bet on Israel. Israel is the only country that is so guaranteed such, such a, a good, prosperous, and successful experience. We're only seeing the very beginnings of it. And just as there is, just as there is a material blessing for Israel, shortly behind that is the, the spiritual blessings of Israel. So what you see on the material level is paralleled by what is happening on the spiritual level. Israel is coming to life spiritually. We're going to talk about that more in a little while. Let's uh, call upon our chauffeur blowers to uh, call to assembly. And uh, would our chauffeur blowers come forward? And Jerry Cohen, would you come forward to say a blessing over this? Let's all rise.